idea. Hey, Hugh, you want to play Wolverine one more time? Yeah, sure, Ryan. Okay, so it was not a dream. Hugh Jackman is returning as Wolverine in Deadpool 3. I mean, it's been culminating to this all along for Deadpool's third movie, first one in the MCU. This is just going to be amazing. Uh, Deadpool 3 is going to be massive. It is now the final movie slated in the Phase 5 MCU. So, wow. Just like that. Just like that. Internet breaks because Ryan Reynolds introduces Hugh Jackman is coming back as Wolverine in Deadpool 3. But before we get into this video, be sure to smash the like button. Comment down below. Share it to at least three people you know if you're new. Hit that ding button to get notified when I post. I'm your host, Bryant. Welcome back to Bryce Randomness, where we talk all things Marvel and pop culture. So please join, join the gang here. Join the family. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's have fun. And join my Discord in the link in the description. Follow me on all my socials in the link in the description below. So let's just get into this video. Let's talk about where we be where we could be going in this in the future of the MCU and Deadpool 3 and what it could set up and what this means for the grander MCU. The floodgates have been opened, ladies and gentlemen. Things are happening. You know, I believe I truly believe because of this news, we are one step closer. One step closer. People think it's crazy until it happens. And I I, I feel you on that. But just think about this. With this news, we are one step closer to seeing Tobey Maguire, Robert Downey Jr., and Hugh Jackman as their respective iconic characters appearing in Secret Wars together on the same screen. I mean, just think about that. There will be tears of joy. Like, I'm telling you right now. I think that we are one step closer for Hugh Jackman to be appearing in Secret Wars. I think it's, I think it's definitely happening at this point. There's no doubt about it. And where I think they could be going with Deadpool 3, I mean, I'm not a comics person, but I've been reading up, I've been researching this, all this. When I don't know about comics, I just research it, you know? <laughs> That's the best I can do because I've never read the comics. But what I think they can do with Deadpool 3 is, you know, we're dealing with incursions and all that in the MCU right now. I think they can go with Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe, and that Marvel Universe could be the Foxverse. And just killing all the heroes in that universe and just hopping through universes and being this movie being a buddy cop with War Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. I don't think it they're gonna take him from the Logan one, you know, version. I think this is gonna be a completely maybe different version that you know we've never seen. Him hopefully being in the comic accurate Wolverine suit. Thank you. Sean Levy, Sean Levy, just please do it. Please put him in that Wolverine iconic comic accurate suit we need to see him in it i mean it, if not now when you got to do it now you know put him in that suit i think this will be such an iconic moment i think this will be an even better moment just to this will be so good for him to pass the torch even you know maybe this could move this movie could set up you know the next wolverine coming into the mcu him passing the torch and just be like wow that was perfect Absolutely perfect. And by the end of this movie, you're in a post credit. You could set up the next Wolverine and Hugh Jackman passing the torch. Man, like so many things could happen in this movie. We could I'm not trying to get too crazy with the fanboy stuff, but we could probably, you know, even see the fantastic poor Fox verse version. Like Yon Griffith as uh, Mr. Fantastic or, you know, killing that ver universe. Even uh, <laughs> like they could, they, they really can go some so many different ways. Maybe the Michael B. Jordan uh, Fantastic Four version, and you know, killing that universe and going through you know Fox's universes and ultimately landing in the MCU finally. And by the end of it, maybe by the end of this, there's a Thunderbolt setup because I don't know, I don't know if this will be before Thunderbolt or not, but maybe. This could set up Deadpool being in the Thunderbolts, which would be very interesting. I don't know if that'll happen, but I'm not trying to go overboard with that. I'm just so hyped right now. I really don't know what to think. I still can't believe this is happening. Hugh Jackman coming back as Wolverine. You know, he kept denying, 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 denying. If anyone could bring these two together, Deadpool and Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, it'd be the director that has, all, has directed uh, both of them, Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds. And Sean Levy, I mean, it, it only makes sense. And 
here we are. Here we are. September 6th, a day before my birthday, 2024. I'm hyped. I can't ex I can't wait. And we now know that movie that moved back a little bit is now Deadpool 3, of course. It um on the slate it's like it says untitled Deadpool movie now. So I'm so pumped. Uh maybe we could see some mutants. Uh I think I saw there was a rumor, you know, a while back that said they can't use X-Men or anything until like 2025, 2023 or whatever. Say X-Men or whatever until 2023 or something like that, 2025. And then I saw something yesterday or day before that said they heard that, you know, that rumor was is completely false and whatever. But this is a movie that could also set up mutants in the MCU and bringing in, you know, some more mutants. Of course, we're getting, of course, it was uh, confirmed by... Tinoch Huerta, who is playing Namor, he's going to be a mutant in Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Will they talk about that or whatever? We'll see. I might do a, a video covering that later on. But things are happening in the MCU. Things are getting set up. Thank you, Kevin Feige. Thank you, Marvel Studios. This is just absolutely amazing. Thank you, Ryan Reynolds. Thank you, Hugh Jackman. This is absolutely amazing. Like... I, you guys leave me your thoughts down below. Like this is this is a great time to be a Marvel fan. I've been saying it all along. We've seen Tobey Maguire and Andrew Car Garfield come back as Spider Man. We've seen Sir Patrick Stewart come back as Professor X in Multiverse of Madness. Of course, he met his demise again, and of course, uh, like like him, it, he was like. I think it. I don't think it was the same version. I, don't, I think they said it wasn't the same X Men ninety seven version. He was, but I think they can do the same thing with Hugh Jackman. This Hugh Jackman's Wolverine in Deadpool three. Have him show up maybe as an X Men ninety seven version, but not the you know same exact version. But have him be like a similar version. Oh man, I that I, I feel like Deadpool three can make a billion. I I think it's gonna make a billion. Call me crazy. Uh, first rated R MCU movie gonna be crazy so there might be some gore in this movie Wolverine going ham you know just just like Logan was oh my goodness it, there's there's just an infinite amount of possibilities and it's just a wonderful time to be a Marvel fan Deadpool 3 oh my goodness and the um thing um uh, the three with uh Wolverine's Claws, the three, that was so neat how they did that uh, at the end. Oh my goodness. I, you guys leave me your thoughts. That's all, that's all I got to say. That, this is just me covering it. Uh, I just wanted to talk about it and what they could do, where they could pull from. Uh, the, I, could they pull from, you know, the Deadpool thing? Kill, Deadpool kills the uh, Marvel Universe. I'm here for it. I, it, I Anything they do, man. <laughs> and I've seen some memes. And there was like the C uh, Stephen A. meme, uh, Stephen A. Smith meme when he was like, I, I can tell you right now, we don't care. We don't care. Like It was like um, the caption was uh, something about uh, Wolverine being dead. Wait, isn't Wolverine dead, though? <laughs> it was like, I can tell you right now, we don't care. <laughs> That's how I feel. I don't care. As long as he's back and he's in the MC. Oh, my goodness. And then he passes the torch. Man, this I don't think they can do any wrong with this. I think this is going to be a buddy cop movie. Them two just having fun, going through incursions, uh, universes being destroyed, and then Deadpool ultimately ending ending up in the MCU. I mean, it, this is going to be an amazing movie. I can't wait. So pumped. So you guys leave me your thoughts down below. How hyped are you for Deadpool 3? How hyped are you for Hugh Jackman for returning as Wolverine in this movie? Do you And do you think he's going to be appearing in Secret Wars? Do you think this heightens the... Um, Chances we see him with Robert Downey Jr. possibly, with Tobey Maguire possibly, these iconic characters, as their iconic characters. You guys leave me your thoughts. I, I just want to see your thoughts in the comments. So, like, subscribe, comment down below, share it to at least three people you know if you're new. Join my Discord in the link in the description. We're talking all things Marvel MCU updates, news, and all that theories. Come join the Discord right now so we can talk about this, theorize about it, what's going to happen, and just follow me on all my socials. I thank you guys so much for watching this video. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time, love and peace. We out. Wolverine is back. Hugh Jackman is back. Let's go. <laughs>